Hey friends, happy Thursday and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Today I have a pretty giant haul to share with you from Kroger. I actually did the grocery shopping a couple of days ago, but just wasn't feeling doing this whole intro and outro and everything. So I'm filming this a couple days later. I actually went grocery shopping on Sunday. Andy was off. Um, we were all feeling mostly better. Um, the kids have developed like bronchitis from the viral cold that they had and the doctor said they're like not contagious anymore but that cough that they have is gonna take like probably two or three weeks to go away. So that's fun. We're drinking lots of fluids and running the humidifier to help them get through that but I'm feeling much better and so We've got a massive haul and I went to Kroger this week because um, I wanted to pick up some like cough medicine, um, mucinex to kind of work out that like mucusiness in their chest. Um, and they had some good sales and I just knew going to Kroger would be the best thing. We also needed meat because our freezer has been like really low on meat we haven't had a lot of meat in there haven't been to sam's club in months kind of been avoiding it because i don't want to spend sam's club money um i'm debating on whether or not i'm even going to renew my sam's club membership there is a lot of stuff that i like from there and i like to buy in bulk i just i don't know i i just haven't decided we'll see i probably will renew it i'm just uh i'm, I'm not sure yet so it actually expires i think today um so I'll make the decision soon and go over there um, and get some more stuff to stock the freezer. But that's part of the reason I went to Kroger. I wanted to get some meat and stuff. They had some meat sales. They had a buy five, save five sale. Um, there was coupons and whatnot. So I ended up spending double my weekly budget. Usually I spend around 150. I spent close to 300 for this shopping trip and you'll see why. I got a bunch of stuff that's going to last like more than just this week, like milk and things like that, that I stocked up on because they were a good price. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then we'll get into the haul. Okay, here is our meal plan for the week. I haven't even taken the time to erase last week's from the refrigerator. So you just get it here on my iPad. This is where I do most of my meal planning. Um, then I don't have to print things out. It's just so much easier since getting the iPad to just import my weekly meal planner page and write on it and erase it. And I've also got the grocery list in here. I usually print this out before going to the store, but yeah, so. We've got breakfast, yogurt, toast, and fruit for the kids, avocado toast for myself, and Andy has some breakfast sandwiches in the freezer. I didn't really write anything for lunch. We've got stuff on hand. I bought some stuff at Kroger. Uh, we'll just eat whatever or eat leftovers. So for dinners, we've got chicken enchilada casserole. That's a carryover from last week that we didn't end up making since we were sick. Tuna casserole, non pizzas and salad, bourbon chicken and rice, Pork carnitas, taco bowls, cowboy beans, and salad with rolls, buffalo chicken pasta with salad. Okay, here is everything that I got from Kroger today. It is a lot of stuff. We will start over here with the produce. We've got some grape tomatoes, some bananas. I got some pretty green ones. The kids like them the greener that they are so these ones are a little bit more green and they probably won't eat them like this but these ones look like they're perfect and ready for them to eat now that's about how they like them just a little bit of green on them so got lots of bananas I got a pineapple that's Andy's favorite fruit some Italian style lettuce blend uh, we'll probably have that with dinner tonight some avocados three pink lady apples because those are Lily's favorite three pears because that's Elijah's favorite fruit. Blueberries were on sale for $1.67 with the coupon so I used that and got a pint of blueberries because I really like those. Got two cucumbers, two things of orange juice. I've mentioned this before but orange juice anywhere except for Aldi is so much more expensive if you want not from concentrate but that's where I was doing my shopping this week so I got two of those. And then milk 
uh, we've all been drinking Fairlife and usually it's like 428 to like 450 at Aldi and I buy it like every week well it was part of the buy five save five at Kroger making it like I think it was like 348 or 338 something like that but a really good deal on something that also has a long shelf life these are all good until May I know we'll go through it before then this will probably last us like two to three weeks on milk just depends on how much cereal and stuff we eat but I I could have gotten more but this is what I think I can fit in my fridge so I got one of the chocolate milk I don't think we've tried this well maybe Lily has in like a small bottle um, I don't know if I've tried it or not I can't remember but yeah Fair Life chocolate milk and then four of the 2% Fair Life that we all drink now and then a raspberry lemonade they didn't have any regular lemonades so I just picked up one raspberry lemonade and then some homestyle ranch two Red Baron pizzas these were $2.99 I believe with the coupon that they had so I got a thin and crispy bacon lovers pizza and a brick oven crust pepperoni pizza and then I got us each an ice cream these were buy one get one free so they were like three something each I got two of the peanut butter half-baked an American dream and a half-baked um, Elijah wanted half-baked as well um, but there was only one of those left so that's her Andy and then Elijah can pick between peanut butter half-baked or American dream and then I'll take whatever he doesn't pick and Lily of course wanted the peanut butter half-baked I will eat either one of these so we'll let Elijah have his pick then we got some fish sticks because fish sticks are good and they were on sale I think they were $4.99 with the buy five save five eggs were one of those like weekly coupon deals they were $1.49 I got three dozen cheese was one of those weekly coupon deals it was $1.79 I believe per package um, and you can use it five times so I got sharp cheddar sharp cheddar mozzarella mozzarella and then you could also use it on the sliced cheese and I got another sharp cheddar and then I paid full price for this which was the Colby Jack and I think that was like $2.50 so good deals for that and then the Greek gods honey vanilla yogurt the kids really like this the Aldi one is just as good but we're doing our shopping at Kroger this week so we got that these Texas toasts were on sale for 99 cents so we got a three cheese and a garlic Hot Pockets were on sale for $1.99 so I picked up some pepperoni pizza and ham and cheddar for Andy some more of the crab seafood snackers these were a dollar a piece Dark brown sugar for a recipe, au jus just to have on hand to make like Mississippi pot roast. The kids requested some gum. We got the Trident bubble gum and the Trident tropical twist. Uh, both of these have three in each one. And this is a better deal than buying them individually at like Dollar Tree because they're like 125 at Dollar Tree. Um, and this was 350 for three packs. So good deal for that. Uh, the Captain Crunch and some other cereals, like General Mills cereals, were on sale for $2.50. So I got Peanut Butter Captain Crunch, Regular Captain Crunch, and Kix, because those are some cereals I know we like that we haven't had in a while. Got some tuna, because we were almost out. So I got six cans for $0.89 cents each. Some Parmesan and Romano grated cheese for $3.00. This tea, I can't remember how much it was, but it's the orange ginger turmeric herbal tea. It's caffeine free tea. Um, it just sounded really good. I had like a honey turmeric tea and it was good. Um, and I like like citrusy teas and I had a ginger tea. So I don't know, this one just sounded really good. So I picked that up. I also got some saltine crackers. I think these were 179 for the smart way saltine crackers fig bars we haven't had in a while usually I buy them at Sam's Club but they never have these two flavors so I got apple cinnamon and strawberry those are part of the buy five save five I think they start they were like $3.99 still though um, they're kind of pricey but they're really good got some pork and beans for cowboy beans one can for now one can just to have in the pantry for later the Fritos bean dip was on sale I can't remember how much it was I think $2.50 um, and then the chips, I think, were $2.50 as well for the big party size bag. I think that's right. Maybe it was 
I don't remember. But yeah, got those because that's always delicious. Rice Aroni was on sale for a dollar. It was one of the 10 for 10 items this week. So I got two of the Mexican style, two of the Spanish rice, and two of the chicken. Then we got some goldfish, also on sale, $1.99. So we got uh, colors and a flavor blasted. We are already out of that giant thing that I bought a couple weeks back because when we have goldfish, we will definitely eat them. So got some more. Got some blueberry bagels for myself and the kids. Some 100% whole wheat bread. This is on Markdown for $2.89. They didn't have any sourdough. That's what I wanted, but they didn't have any, so I got this instead to eat my avocado toast on. Soft wheat bread, just for regular bread for the week. These whole wheat pita pockets were on clearance for $1.73. I will probably throw those in the freezer. Got us some Mucinex, because that's really, all that's really wrong with us is like we have a bunch of mucus now. So trying to get rid of that. So I got this for myself and Andy, the Mucus Relief ERDM Max. And then this children's Mucinex little uh, granule packets. They just open them up and dump them in their mouth. I don't know how well that's going to go over, but I felt like they needed something to help them cough the stuff up. And then we've got a new toothbrush for Andy. Everybody else already had new toothbrushes on hand, but I didn't have one for Andy, so I got one for him. Bacon was on sale for $3.99, so I picked up three packages. We got two of the hardwood smoked, and then one of the thick cut bacon. Chuck roasts were on sale, so this shows that it was $7.99 a pound, but they actually rang up $5.99 a pound. There was a coupon you had to add to your card, so I did not pay $19.26 for this. I think I paid like around like $14 or something for each of these, um, and this one, same thing. And then I found some Markdown ground beef. It's 80-20, and this was on sale for $3.52, and so was this one. I had this salmon. It's wild Pacific salmon, pre-portioned, whole skin on filet. It's already like cut, it's hard to tell. But yeah, this was on sale for $6.99 for 1.25 pounds. So I got that, that'll make a good dinner. And then this two pound bag of tilapia was on sale for $7.99 and I thought that was a great price. So I picked that up. The Boston butt roasts were on sale, buy one, get one free. So I ended up getting this one for half price. So it was like 10 and some change. And I will probably cut that in half and freeze it, we'll see. And then we've got some chicken breasts. The Purdue chicken breasts were the same price as the Kroger brand. So I picked up one of these. They were $2.99 a pound. So I paid $9.12 for this pack of chicken breasts. And that is everything I got today at Kroger. And that is going to be it for today's Kroger haul. As I said before, this is a lot of stuff. Stuff that's going to last us a while. Some of this cheese, the milk especially, is going to last us a couple weeks. Um, just lots of stuff that I know we're gonna use over time. So next week's haul from Aldi probably won't be very big. I know I won't me need milk and I won't need bread probably. Mostly it's probably gonna be just little things here and there that I need to complete meals and some fresh produce. So I should be able to keep next week's haul pretty small. But that is going to be it for this week's video. I will have the total here on the screen. If you are interested, I think it was around 280, if I remember correctly, I think that's right. So that's going to be it. I hope you'll have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. And I will see you on Sunday with the what's for dinner of all of those meals that I mentioned on the meal plan. Bye.